Hey guys, welcome. I'm Tampa Realtor Lauren Gavin, and I'm really excited today to be picking back up my small business interview series after finishing up our new homeowner series last month. So I'm here with Ken Mashad of Total Quality Painting, and we're going to find out a little bit about his business, kind of how it came to be, and then all the really cool services that he offers. I had no idea until I started following them on Instagram, just what goes into interior and exterior home painting and kind of all the cool things that can be done. So welcome, Ken. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks Thank for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. I so, appreciate it. Yeah. So start off by telling us like how you got into this business. Okay. Yeah. So I think it was, it was like two and a half years ago. You know, I've been painting for other companies mm -hmm. and doing the run of the mill stuff, interiors, exteriors, just regular stuff, nothing fancy, yeah. you know, and then, um, just, I just kind of got antsy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like to, I, I guess I'm, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't like to be told what to do. Like, you got to be here <laughs> well, at this time. And, you know, I like working for clients and helping design and right. providing what they want, but that's a little different than a boss setting. So mm -hmm. I decided, you know, I, I think there's a little bit more to provide for, for customers. Right. You know, I could see as being in homes, I could kind of see the complaints and where things mm -hmm. hang up. So I was like, I think I could do it a little bit better. <laughs> and then, uh, so we, we, Tried it out two and a half years ago, and we're still here. So. Nice, awesome. So two and a half years old as a company, great. Mm -hmm. And then, who is part of your company? I know off camera we have we have a very important member of your company. So. Yeah, well, so it's me, obviously. And then uh, we have Katie. She handles all of the marketing, admin. She's usually, if you call in, she's the one who answers. Got it. Because she's got she's just man's the phone. She knows all the questions. She actually works in the field with us. Cool. Because she she likes to learn. How we prime, as you can see, there's windows behind us. How we prime those and do different things like that. So, to provide awesome. a lot. so able to ask, answer questions. Exactly. That I, yeah, people yeah. Have. Cool. Provide as much value as we can. Yes, yeah. excellent. And a couple other crew members who do larger projects and stuff like that. Okay, but. so you call them in like when you have a bigger project. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Got it. Okay, so we're out in Brandon today at a project <clears throat> of yours. So tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing here today. So right here, this project is a little unique. So the customer had some windows. So these were actually black. Okay. And they were just fading really bad. Yeah. The sun sets on this side. Okay. So it just fades it out really bad. And what we were doing is priming all the windows and then restoring them back to the, the black color that they were. Okay. So they're so vinyl. this is primer right This now. is primer. Got it. So they so, will be back to black. Exactly. Okay. So, and typically we use a dark primer or a dark primer, but they just didn't have it in stock. I was just going to ask because yeah. I would have assumed they were going to turn white, but they're going to be black. The black is very popular. I'm even looking at the house across the street. Yeah. Um, I definitely did a non-professional paint of one of my exterior windows. We only have one on the front because yeah. I like the black. Maybe eventually I have you come and do all of them. Perfect. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> But yeah, yeah that's a, a that's a trend. What other um, makes you wonder? Like, what other trends are you seeing? Like, what other are you guys getting a lot of calls for? Like, certain types of you know transformations that people want on their homes. Ex like, what's yeah. trending right now? So what we're seeing a lot is a lot of staining is coming back. Mm. So you can even see this is a fiberglass door that yes. we're staining using a gel stain. Mm -hmm. So even like fiberglass is is uh, getting stained. So okay. we're saying stained staircases, stained cabinets, or or the opposite with cabinets. People don't like the stain, so they're going back with a color. So, but the stain is becoming more popular. Okay. And that's something that you don't really find craftsmen or painters who actually I was gonna say, and that, yeah, I don't know that you would be able to call just any painting company, of course yeah. the trash people are across the street, it's fine, um, and get them to do staining as well. So you can kind of do both. Do both, yeah. Okay. So we, we kind of focus more in the, in the custom coatings area. We can do interiors, exteriors, and I think what sets it apart with the run of the mill painting, as you could call it, mm -hmm. is just a little bit more attention to detail. Got it. So, and I was going to ask you that because your Katie does a great job running the Instagram. Yeah. And one of the, the posts I read yesterday was reviewing um, for today. You talked about how, the difference between, you know, like standard painting mm -hmm. and like high quality painting. So Got it. if you had to explain what that was, what would you say? So the main difference is taking the time necessary to like allow the proper amount of prep mm. for what for what needs to happen um a lot of times it's it's really those small details that matter because mm -hmm. a lot of people know how to roll paint on the wall yeah yeah but it's when do you recode it should you sand between the coatings oh gosh you know yeah how do you how do you get it looking like you know maybe a mercedes finish instead of like mm. a body shop finish okay you know? i love that analogy 
That's a great analogy. Okay, cool. So sand, wow, sanding between finishes or mm -hmm. between coats. I would have never, when does that happen? Like, well, we just, right before you got here, we just finished sanding the primer. Okay. So before we primed them, we sanded them. Mm -hmm. And before we, or after we prime them, we'll sand them. And then we're going to paint them. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to sand them again. Oh, wow. And okay. then do another coat. The final coat won't get sanded. Right. Because that's got the it. pretty coat. Right. We'll let that one stay. Got but, it. Yeah. So just the extra time and you have to let the, the paint dry fully mm -hmm. to sand it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times uh, you can save time if you... If of course. You wait and then you just spray it right over it and oh it looks great but maybe in five years it won't so we try to try to make everything last as long as possible got it customers are paying a lot of money mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely yeah so it's more of what goes in during like the attention to detail during the job for that lasting yeah the okay. prep yeah got it the prep is the most important i like to tell the customers everybody thinks the paint is the most important mm -hmm. for me the prep is the most important so you can imagine how much mm -hmm. how much important that prep is yeah definitely I, yeah i don't think that's something that most people who don't understand you know what you do every day would understand or would think about exactly so what's been your favorite job you've been recently Ooh, that's like a your good favorite one. you know before and after like that's a good one <laughs> the, <laughs> you've uh, done some cool stuff we've done a lot of cool stuff we've done some some really cool staying projects we did recently get to do a house um, a staircase over on Bayshore Boulevard. Mm. It was like a three-tier staircase. Inside or outside? Inside. Okay. So yeah, we were. So we I were, can't see it when I drive by. Yeah, no. <laughs> but there's pictures on Instagram, so okay. there's a walk through, a walk down of it. Um, but it was it was really fun. The the flooring needed to match exactly the staircase. Oh. So that was a tricky thing to mm. do. Um, thankfully, we we have some good uh, connections with Tanner Paints. They okay. they help us out a lot with nice. color matching and the products, recommendations, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we get to test a bunch of stuff. Cool. Well, that's, that's nice. And they're over in Tampa, I think. Yes. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. driven by, I think. Mm -hmm. a few, yeah, definitely they're familiar with that company. name. Yeah. 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 That's really cool. So, yeah, I'll have to take a, take a look at that again. I probably have seen it, but yeah. not fresh in my mind. They're really helpful. Yeah. That's really cool. Awesome. So what's something coming up that you're excited about or looking Ooh. forward to? Let's see. We, so yesterday we, we got another staircase and this okay. one, you like staircases? I love staircases <laughs> because I like, like what we were saying earlier with the staining, not very many people do that. Mm -hmm. So it's an opportunity for us to kind of have a little bit of a, a fingerprint in yeah. Tampa. I was born and raised here, Same. right Same. here. <laughs> so it's like when I, when I leave in this house, I mean, I've probably driven down here yard sailing when I was like five or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean. I, I recognize the homes and dri even driving down Bayshore. I yeah. recognize these homes. Oh, yeah. And if when they, they'll tear one down sometimes, put a new one up, it's still the same location. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I really enjoyed enjoyed that one. And we have another one coming up that is got some uh, really cool modern steps. Mm -hmm. So not so much of the rounded decorative mm -hmm. stuff. It's very modern and straight. Cool. You know, right angles. Yeah. So it's going to look really good. Awesome. So. Great. So I'm excited cool. for that one. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited to see the after pictures. So if somebody wants to get in touch with you mm -hmm. guys, what's the easiest way for them to do that? So the easiest way would probably be through Instagram. You can just direct message us and Katie will answer you probably very within like, like two minutes. She'll yes. answer. Yeah. Um, that's not a promise, but <laughs> that's a consistency. <laughs> I don't want to put her under pressure or anything. <laughs> but um, e either through Instagram, which is total quality painting, and then um, at uh, our website. We actually have an online form you can fill out if you have a project in mind or just have a question. Like we don't, you don't have to book a job with us. Okay. Just ask a question. That's I great. Mean, that's what we're here for. Awesome. You know, love that. So client experience is really important to you guys. I'm hearing that. it really is. I mean, that's we wouldn't have a job or we wouldn't be able to paint your house if you weren't there. Mm -hmm. If you weren't, you know, existing. Yeah. So you're kind of what we rely on to run a business. So we yep. try to make make the customers happy. Make, Make everybody happy. Love that. As well, much as we can. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. If you guys, I did go ahead and drop that um, information. If you're looking to book any staining or painting project for your home in the future, be sure to reach out to Ken and Katie, and they will take really good care of you. Thank Thanks. you.